What up, sucker? Ah! Read between the lines. I'm joking, I'm not gonna flip you off today. Just not. I gotta get it ready for spring, which means I gotta get this dry patch of skin off my face in like X amount of Z minus 14 days, which leaves me with 16 minutes. So I'm boiling water. I figured if I stuck my face in it, maybe I'll burn off my first few <laughs> Oh, it'll be like a chemical peel, so yeah, join me. Um, but in all honesty, um, I'm making rice. Don't be weird. All right. All right. All I gotta say. Now watch and learn. Even though you can't see. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. Do you want to know, <laughs> this is so embarrassing to admit, but we're best friends, so I can tell you anything. Do you want to know who one of my first actual crushes was that I can vividly remember? Like one of those crushes where they become your imaginary boyfriend, and like even when you're in the car with your parents, you pretend like you're on the way to a funeral with your boyfriend. If you didn't do that, I did. Maybe that's why I'm so weird. But yeah, I definitely did that. Cloudy days, <laughs> I'm not even lying to you. Cloudy days, my little imagination would pretend that it's a sad day. I'm in a nice, like, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe four-door BMW. I'm in the passenger seat. My boyfriend husband, who I'm going to tell you in a second, is driving, and we're just, we're, we're sad. The, the energy is somber. Um, but, yeah, it was all just in my imagination. But guess who my first crush was? Not, like, my very first. I'm going to make myself laugh so hard. And it's because my mom and I used to watch American Idol every single season. Like, that was our lifeline. Yeah. So, guess who I got a crush on? Adam Lambert. I thought he was the most handsome man. This was, like, 15 years ago, you guys. So, like, keep in mind. I don't know what year it was when he auditioned onto American Idol, but I was literally like in elementary school, okay? Literal elementary school. And I vividly remember <laughs> one day, this is so funny. One day I was walking home from school by myself and I was, you know, just pretending like I said, I was walking with my boyfriend in my head. And I walked past this certain type of bush that had flowers on it. And now tell me why every time I smell that bush, I think of that moment. How weird is that? Please. How weird. Like me as a grown adult and now like, damn, sir, do you remember back when you were like a uh, nine or 10 and <laughs> it's all brought back because of a smell. So then one day when I was at my dad's house, because the computer at my mom's house, the internet didn't really work. So when I was at my dad's house one day, I was Googling pictures of Adam Lambert and I was like, oh my God, he's so attractive. And then, <laughs> this is little Sarah. Like I'm talking a long time ago, a long time ago. And then all of these pictures popped up of him kissing boys. And I was like, are my fantasies like completely? <laughs> I can't believe I just shared that fact with you. Isn't that freaking funny? And I don't even know what made me think of that. I really don't. Maybe while I'm editing, I'll be like, oh, sir, that's why you thought of that. Isn't that the funniest thing? <laughs> and I like, wanted to tell my mom, but then I couldn't because I didn't want her to know that I had a crush on him because maybe then she'd be like, no, we can't watch American Idol anymore, Sarah. This is getting like a little out of hand. I'm just joking. <laughs> it was just the funniest moment. And that's when I taught myself like, yo, you don't just go out there having crushes on people. Okay, we don't, we don't, we don't, we gotta be careful. We gotta control our emotions. So 
I learned how to control my emotions at a young age from watching American Idol. I hope that helps. Maybe you could teach your kids, tell your wife, if you're having a hard time controlling your emotions, just watch American Idol and then Google the contestants and you'll be like, oh, guys, I'm totally joking, but I'm not at the same time. So anyway, what do I have to do today? I got to do rice. I got to clean up my deck. Um, there's like a million other things, but once I start talking to you, I just forget. And you just gave me goosebumps. Alright, so I'm going to go plug it in. <laughs> Run! I'm joking. I'm gonna get my neighbor's like, what the fuck is she up to already? Um, isn't this funny? I literally share the wall with my neighbor like that. So if I wanted to, I could pound on that wall. <laughs> Alright, so. This is what they do every morning before the sun rises. The people who run the Truman Show that we're all a part of, they walk up to this small little outlet on a white wall, like Welcome to the Matrix. They take a little cord, they plug it in. Sooner or later, the sun will start rising in Havana. So you just think the sun is rising, but no, they just plugged it in and it takes a second to like, see my colors are changing. What, what, what if I'm not really this color and it's really just the spectrum? What? Okay, so welcome to my plant room, AKA the bathroom I grew up in. Yeah, this is my plant room. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, that's my lemon tree. She, she's blushing. Um, so yeah, I really just needed to plug that in, make sure everything's okay. I can tell you a secret, but you can't tell anybody. Guess what I learned? Like you're gonna trip when you hear this from, like especially when you hear it coming from my mouth. All right, so listen to this. Guess what I learned the other day while I was watching a video on something that had to do with a garden, right? This guy was working at his garden center, right? And he was showing you how to propagate. I think that's what it was. I don't, I, I could not tell you if you paid me. He walks up to like certain plants and he's like, okay, this plant is a, a terracotta pot. I'm just joking. I don't know these plants names. So he's like, okay, this is a blah, blah, blah. And this isn't patented. So it's free to go. And I was like, wait, what? There are, like, this is how, you know, I'm still learning about like the free land we were born on. There are certain types of plants, you guys, that it's illegal to multiply them basically. Like if you buy, so, like how are they gonna know? I don't know, probably the satellites watching this. <laughs> if you buy a plant from the store, say it's, I don't know, like a grapefruit tree, but that grapefruit tree is patented. Like somebody basically owns it kind of like it's not royalty free music. You know how I get in trouble every time I post a video because I don't use royalty free music. Yeah, basically I'm, I'm going to get arrested if I go to a plant shop and I trim a little bit of a little bit and put it in my pocket and go home. So all you dirty little thieves out there stealing propagated bits off the bottom of Home Depot's floor, you better watch out. Paw Patrol is on the way. But yeah, I basically learned that there are certain plants that are patented and you don't have the right to do whatever you want to them, especially create a hybrid. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to start somehow creating my own species, I don't know how, because I have to use royalty-free plants. Like, what kind of nation do we live in? I'm going to create my own plants, and then I'm going to patent them and own it. Just like you-know-who, B-I-L-L-G-A-T-E-S, owns almost all of the farmland. I'm going to start doing it. It's time I fight back. It's time I bite back. It's time I grab back. <laughs> I'm just joking. You guys know what I'm referring to, right? Let me sit on my uh, abode toilet. Really quickly, because this is not a plant tour, I just wanted to show you this little beautiful thing right here is my orange tree. Yes, I grew her from seed. It might be a boy though. Look, do you see that right there? With your own very two eyes. That is a branch. This thing hasn't grown a branch. <laughs> It just grabs me and engulfs me, and there I go. There I go. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a tour of my plant room, just let me know. Um, but yeah, I really just came up here to turn this on, and I want to show you guys something cool because really what I'm doing here is I'm preparing for my life in like five, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe 15, 25 years from now, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's called preparing. I'm a proprietor. I'm joking, I don't know what that word means. 
<laughs> Please don't say words you don't know. So look, do you see this? Look at that, it's life on Mars, right? This is what I'm taking with me to Mars. <laughs> Put it in my backpack, I'm propagating life. Okay, so I, and you guys know me, you've been following me for forever, took a baby bit from this big old Betty. Big old Betty. Somebody's like, Sarah, what is that on the ground? I'll show you. I don't know if I could show you. But it's the aerial root I stuck in a bottle, and now it's growing roots and basically taking over the world. So, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I don't need help. But I took that from that and propagated it, and it worked. And this plant is easily 30 years old. Hold on. My alarm system is might be going off. Hey, shut the go. <laughs> Isn't that cool, though? All right. I'll be right back. And I literally forgot I was cooking rice. That's why I had to, like, just stay doing what I'm doing. Because I was supposed to... Sorry, I did not mean to cuss. I was supposed to put this in and then reduce to a simmer. And what did I do? <laughs> the exact opposite. So I'm going to add a little bit of agua to make sure the life is okay. And then... I'm going to hope for the best. It's probably going to be done a lot sooner than expected. Look at me go. Look at me go. I'm cooking rice on the low. I am cooking rice on the low. You know I can flow. You know I can go. You know I can grow all day. Every day. What'd you say? Can you be my best friend today? Written by Sarah Kay. Yeah, I've been practicing, sorry. <laughs> when I say hip hop, you say Harry, hip hop, Harry, hip hop, Harry. I've had the most random songs stuck in my head this morning. Like just the other second, I was singing Jimmy Buffett. Do you guys know Jimmy Buffett? I love Jimmy Buffett. Um, you guys are like, okay, this is new news. Well, yeah, I'm basically Pandora's box. You have no idea what's gonna happen when you open me up and you barely even peeked in. Oh, God. So, um, yeah, I had Jimmy Buffett's uh, six-stringed music stuck in my head. I really did. And I remember that night in Africa, Africa my daughter and my little guitar. Turn off the TV. Turn off the crap. Pick up, up your high heels. heels. Climb up in my lap and now they lose What song for me to use? Simple six string music. Belly of Yeah, did I know all of that? I think it's Fruitcakes. I think that's the title of the album. If you wanted to look it up, you should. It'll bring you back to the good old days where people would go butt naked, roller skating. <laughs> I don't really know what to do now. I'm actually cold, so I'm gonna see if it's still nice outside. It's like, oh shit, there's a sniper. I know this might sound really awkward, but I really don't know what else to say to you right now. <sighs> Somebody wind me back up. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but and this rice is probably, like, so hard still. Good thing this is for the dogs, and I'm basically a dog. I'm basically a bat out of hell. Oh my god, this is so bad. And I remember that night in Africa, my daughter and my little guitar. But sometimes I can't sing Jimmy Buffett. I can't sing Jimmy Buffett because it makes me think of my mom, and then it makes me sad, and then I'm just depressed for, like, seven years. <laughs> it's not funny. But, you know... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's personalized to you. Y'all, I ain't even been vlogging today. I just want to come on here and tell you I'm exhausted. I did toes at 8 a.m. this morning, and then I just did some a nail set. I did a medium coffin pink French bling. Um, and a soak off at 5 p.m. I got done right at an hour ago and I just started cleaning up all my nail stuff. 
<sighs> Yo, I'm, I'm freaking pissed because I don't know what happened to the nail table. Every round, everything. And I have a client again at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm trying to get cleaned up. Kitchen is a mess, and I doubt anyone's going to do it tonight. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I don't know what a lot what's up so i uh have no storage on my phone like none and i have a million videos on there that i need to edit so figured i just grab my camera i'm in the middle of something serious and i'm trying not to like mess up but um i'm making food because i need to eat my body is on e <laughs> i was trying to make a poem and then i ended up making a poem Whoa. Why is it so dark? Ah. Oh, my stand is not open. Okay, good. There we go. Hey, what's up? So, I'm in the middle of making some food. Okay. And I think this is dirt. Can you see me at all? No. Sweet home Alabama. What's up? So, I'm making what I've got in my kitchen, what I got in my fridge. Which, truthfully, is dog food. I'm just joking. I'm making some ground beef. I've got some pasta. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I got some pasta. And then I'm gonna add some like tomatoes and mushrooms and yeah. Yesterday I planted some lettuce, some bell peppers that are low key. I'm kind of upset with myself because they're peppers or they're seeds I saved from a pepper, but the pepper was from the store, but it was also given to me as a gift. So I wanted to keep it and see if I could make peppers out of it. So I did. And I planted those yesterday with some marigolds. I planted some nasturtiums. I know you guys didn't ask, but this is like a life update. Yeah, so I did that. What I'm doing right now is an experiment, all right? And I know it's not gonna hurt my fish because this is literally made for a filter, like to be a filter. But my angelfish and my goldfish, they, I just did a like a small water clean and their water's a little bit foggy just because I like mixed up the gravel and whatnot. And they need a filter, but filter refills are so freaking expensive, you guys. And they only come in an option of like three, at least at the store. I need to probably find somewhere else to go. But um, they only come in a three pack and they're like 30 bucks. So I decided that I was gonna try to make my own because they really need a filter. And after, um, and after I did that little clean, my goldfish has been acting a little off, so I figured I would try to just sew the bottom of this and see if I can make my own filter, because this is a sleeve for a filter, and yeah, so I'm just going to see if I could sew this shut, make my own little filter and get these fish feeling better. Cool. And I think this is a pretty good idea. So yeah, other than that, uh, I rinsed my deck off yesterday. I know you're not supposed to like rule of thumb where I live is you're not supposed to plant anything until after Mother's Day, but I can never wait and Half of the stuff that I have says that it's okay to plant in April, so, and it's already May, so I think we're good. And it's been really nice here. I don't think it's going to snow anymore. If anything, it's just going to rain, but that's perfect because that's what they need. But yeah. And this is, this is extremely temporary. Like, I'm talking maybe just a couple days, but... Never know. A couple days might be five years in a fish's world, so. I just don't want anything to happen to them.
and I need glasses. I can't even see across my own house. So you guys, I'm gonna tell you this because I don't even think my family even watches my YouTube videos. And yeah, you guys have been there for me practically more than my family has over these last like seven years. So the other day I was getting food and just minding my own business and I'm like really talkative and sociable with you guys but when I'm out in public like I'm just you know I'm kind of doing my own thing I can't see very well so I'm not like looking around everywhere and if I do look around like I said I can't really see so I'm kind of just stick it to myself you know well I get a text asking if I was at said spot yesterday from somebody and I was like yeah I was why and they go, so-and-so says that you they saw you and you just ignored them. I was like, what are you talking about? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, I didn't see anybody. Like, I didn't see anybody. What the heck? And I was like, and especially if somebody was there, and I'm talking, this is my family. So this is blood. Like, you guys come up to me in public and have no problem with that. But my, my family, I guess, saw me yesterday. And... Because they, I guess they looked at me and I looked at them and ignored them, even though I don't know what the hell they're even talking about. I saw nobody, wasn't looking around, and um, like, I'll give you a kind of an idea. Chipotle, like when you're ordering your food, you stand in line and then you walk up to the counter and then you stay at the counter and then you check out and then you leave. Like the door's usually right there. So. I'm not like standing in line ordering my food and then turning around and people watching, you know, like I'm, I'm not, I'm looking down, I can barely see the person I'm ordering food from, so I'm like looking at them. And yeah, so supposedly, I guess, my family saw me yesterday, looked at me in the face, smiled at me, and I just ignored them. So I was like, what the heck, why didn't you just come up to me and say something? Like, if you really thought that, like, if I saw my family and I thought that they, knew, like, saw me and then they just didn't, like, say anything, I would run up to them or, like, throw something at them, like, throw a fork at me. But no, they didn't. So tell me why I text them and I'm like, dude, why didn't, like, why didn't you, like, what is this? And they were like, you really hurt my feelings. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because I didn't even see you, like, I don't have my glasses and yeah and I was like why couldn't you come like why didn't you come up to me and they were like well once I smiled at you and you just looked at me and ignored me I feel like there was like you know no reason to come and say hi to you alrighty I was like okay it was just so weird to me you guys like I barely see my family as is So when stuff like that happens, it's just, that was weird. Really weird. And then they don't believe me that I can't see very well. And it's like, I'm not trying to be rude right now, but if you know me, you know I can't see and they know me. So I don't know you guys, it was just really weird. So my advice to you, like make sure somebody, like make sure what's happening is really happening and don't assume because you know the saying, when you assume something, you make an ass out of me and you. And that's literally what happened. I'm like, bro, you, you're, you're making an ass out of me, and then it made an ass out of you. Because you assumed that I saw you when I didn't see you, and you got mad at me for assuming something. It was just so weird. And I was like, and then you went out your way to text somebody else in the family and make it like I don't know what you said about me but you're probably like yo screw Sarah but I didn't even see you dude I really didn't see you and then like the fact that they're not believing me that I didn't see them I was like alright so there I stitched the bottom cool look at me go multitasking queen and I just added some uh, carbon buy in bulk saves money <laughs> um, but no it really does and I added it like yay full, okay? And then I'm going to rinse this. All right, I'm gonna rinse this. But yeah, you guys, my just little, I guess, reason I told you that story is yeah, just don't, 
make sure you know what's going on. Because then I was thinking to myself, like what if say I really did see them and I chose to ignore them? That's a red flag. Like that might mean something is seriously wrong with me. Like maybe I'm depressed, maybe I'm sad, maybe something's wrong. I feel like that would make it even more of a reason to come and say hi. All right, I'm gonna go stick this in right back. Okay, so it, it slid in. <laughs> We just gotta keep our fingers crossed. And usually, like I have, um, I just need to take a run to the fish store. But usually I would put some like, some of the special stuff that they have for when like you first introduce fish, even though they're not introduced, but it just calms them down. It's stress coat is what it's called. It just, just releases positive energy so the fish aren't stressed. But they'll be fine now that I put that little new thing in. I'm so hungry. So yeah, I wish I had, I'm trying to think of like other exciting stuff I could tell you. Oblio, please keep your thoughts to yourself. Oblio, bye. Oblio, bye. Oblio, thank you, sir. No more. No more. What else could I tell you? Um, damn, usually I'm more exciting. Hmm. Huh, oh, oh, oh. So I saw this video this morning. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around it because, you know, half of the stuff you be like, you gotta be careful of what you believe because, like, I swear once you start believing in something, it becomes your complete reality and then that's, like, it starts happening. So, there's supposedly some, like, weird stuff going on. And here's what I'm going to tell you right now. I think that's how they make reality happen. They go onto the news channels and they go onto all of these platforms and they say X, Y, and Z is happening. And then the people hear that, read that, and they take it in and they believe it and then they go about their life like oh this is what's happening and then the collective consciousness that's around everybody like you know how there's small groups of collective consciousness is but the mass collective consciousness will then start to act think and behave that way so here's what I'm saying it was a small snippet from a news story like you know those morning news shows not the actual news anchor shows but like who are some people that do it? Um, the Ryan Seacrest and that one lady. I used to watch them when all this stuff first kicked off because I was like sadly interested in the news, but like I'm about to say, I think that's not what we should be doing. So anyway, hear me out. It was like a morning news talk show and these two people were explaining that, and this might be happening, so don't get me wrong. I'm doing, this is all, uh, this is a speculation, all right? Supposedly, there's like, a huge pollen bloom going on like the earth is producing so much more pollen than it usually does so they said like oh everybody's now experiencing all these symptoms and they're like she looks at the crowd and she goes oh everybody in the crowd is nodding their head too oh okay so she's like lighting it up even more that this is like really reality and the person who was sharing this was showing a satellite image of the weather right of all like what's happening from an aerial view in all these different locations and it looks like these baby volcanoes are going off like I'm not even kidding you and they're trying to explain that what was it called because best believe I'm gonna be researching this it's called a whoa can't see where are the bottom of your pictures? Like, watch. I'll see if you can see. We didn't have the heart to tell them it's tomorrow. But we took it. Yes. You know, we took it. Yeah. It was very sweet. Um, but they're all suffering from allergies. Our kids were, like, sneezing. They like to blame the dogs. I'm nice to sir. Allergenic. So, like that. I, I, you won't focus. But it's like that. They look like baby volcanoes, right? But also in my head, it looked so... Like, everything looked identical. So I was like, maybe this is just like, you know, how they freaking Photoshop everything. Like, you've seen those videos, right? Where you're supposedly watching, like, the clouds moving. But the, it just, like, repeats. And, like, fake clouds that look the same on this part of the ocean are, like, over here. You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, I'm sorry. But... It almost looks like they were put there perfectly 
for someone who just so might happen to be researching, they're going to look in and be like, oh, wow, look at all these baby volcanoes are erupting and now the, like, the earth is basically like burning from the inside out. God, my fish is tripping. I'm trying to make sure they are okay. Here, I have some concentrated conditioner for marine and freshwater fish. It detoxifies ammonia and removes chlorine and chloramine. Perfect. I'll give everybody a little bit. I cleaned my angel fish's tank yesterday, or like the other day. It looks great, like I literally just stinks. Yeah, I took all the plants out and I cleaned it. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I just want to make sure that the fish are okay. But yeah, supposedly that is happening and it was just really interesting. So now I need to research because what this person is saying is they're blaming it on pollen, but it's not pollen. What it really is, is volcanic smog, but they're not telling us, supposedly. And that bog effects will bring on a lot of like issues, and it's very dangerous to humans. And the reason why I found this so fascinating is because jet, like the last couple days, the city and like the air has been so foggy. Like it... You know, it's, you know, like you've seen it, but it is so foggy to the point it's like, maybe there's a wildfire somewhere, but it's not natural. And we've been getting rain and hail randomly. So I know like the atmosphere has been trying to kind of like calm down a little bit, calm down what's ever in the air. So I don't understand. And now that I'm like hearing about this, I'm like, what is happening? What are we about to experience this summer? It's, it's always a trial run. You know, you know they're just testing us. It's literally a social experiment. Life is a social experiment. Being a human has turned into being a literal guinea pig all the way around. Spiritually, physically, emotionally. Every avenue you could ever imagine is a game. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Do you hear the beautiful birds outside? And I got bird food yesterday. But I have to get the hot kind that comes with, um, I gotta close the screen. I see a fly, hold on. Um, I was just about to say something, what was I gonna say? I have to get the bird food that comes with the spices. I think I may have told you guys this before because the squirrels go ape shit. Oh my god. They ruin everything. <laughs> Just joking. But they do. And then when they are attracted to the bird food, they somehow smell the seeds I plant in the ground and they like dig up everything. The watermelon, the seeds, the like, uh, any seed I plant basically. So I have to get the hot kind, but I could only afford the hot kind and usually I get the hot kind and a small bag of regular food so I can mix it together and have even more and then it lasts me longer, but I couldn't do that. So I don't, I feel bad like making the birds wait because they're obviously hungry. So I think I might just go ahead and give them a little bit and I won't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. On another side note, Do you guys remember how I told you that I took, I used to have three angelfish, right? And they were all different, like they weren't siblings. And two of them paired and started having babies. And they started picking on the other one who I named Uncle like crazy. Like they were biting the hell out of him. They would make him stay pinned in one corner just because they were worried about him eating their eggs or just messing with the babies. So finally I was like, you know what? That's not fair. That's no way to live. So I took him out and I put him in his own tank and now he's with the goldfish. So after that happened, this angelfish had a whole bunch of babies, right? And a lot of them survived, but she got pregnant again in the same, like while she was still raising her babies. And I guess instinctively she, she felt she needed to protect her um, new eggs that she was about to lay. So, I'm going to give them some more food real quick. So, she started eating her babies. I see that fly. She started eating her babies. And, um, I was like, I can't have this happen. So, I, um, I took, 
as many babies out as I could and I stuck them in there with the uncle because I know the uncle's not mean. He's not. He's really not. And if anything, maybe he would like care for them. So I put three that made it. No, two, three. Sorry. I don't know how many. I put as many as I could in there. There was, there's one female fish and with her brother and then the uncle, but even though the uncle's not related to her, I just called him that because I needed, I didn't know what else to, to do. So I think the uncle got one of the babies pregnant and she killed off her brother. So I have an angel fish that looks pregnant and I got the big white boy. So I mean, it's really exciting, but it's also kind of like sad and weird. It's very weird. So I'm gonna give them a little bit more food right, a little bit more food right now. But I think the daughter is pregnant, which means mom is gonna be a grandma. Do you see? Like this is a lifeline. This is a family home. This is pretty weird. I feel like there was a way easier way for me to explain that story than what I just did. But yeah, long story short, I think I have a grandma, a daughter, and now she's gonna have grandbabies. And that would be really cool. And on top of it, I think it was maybe just because of how old they were. You guys, I really don't know. Sometimes with fish, it's like, heck, how, we're trying to understand a world that is like not even human. <laughs> so I, um, I don't know what happened, but the dad passed away one day. And I feel so bad because now mom is just, you know, doing her own little thing. But she's fine, she's happy. I just feel bad because I'm like, damn, you had a family and now it's like your kids moved out. That beauty. But yeah, I cleaned her thing yesterday. She's got all of these wonderful plants. And she's so pretty. Wish you could see her a little better. And she's got these really pretty red spots on her eyes, and her daughter has them too. So yeah, but I think it's good. She's got her own little home, and she loves it. And she's so happy, and she's always hungry. And what's even more special is in my bathroom, I have a very small fish tank, and one of her kids is in there, but I don't know if it's just, I don't know what it is, but they're still a little tiny baby. They're so sweet, but they've gotten bigger and bigger, and it's crazy because I've watched them grow from like a little guppy, and they're gonna grow this size, but they were literally like a little thing that looked like a little worm. It was like so funny. But yeah, it was just crazy watching like them grow, and they like get the biggest little eyes, and then they've got this air bubble in the middle of their bellies to help them stay afloat so they don't like sink and die. And it's just so cute. It's so cute. You can see it and it's like almost the color of like silver or titanium. It's so interesting. All right, so save your pasta water. All right. The plants need it. I swear mushrooms are those things that like stay good for forever. Stop it, Okari. But I heard you're also supposed to listen to your body, and they smell a little funky. But they're also fungus, so... I also have three. Ladies. Akari Lee. We'll add a little bit of veggies. Akari Lee. Save this to put some plants in. It has like holes at the bottom. <laughs> Why not? I liked the way this tomato looked and this one. So I want. So I wanted to take the seeds out and try to grow them and make my own. I did. Previously with the same kind. Um, I know like again. I'm kind of annoyed because they're store-bought tomatoes, but You gotta do what you gotta do. So I did it, but the freaking little pots that I had them in started getting all these bugs on them and I didn't know like I didn't notice because they were so small 
and I couldn't figure out what was making my plants so messed up. Like leaves were falling. I just didn't know what was happening. So I, when I found the problem, it was like too far gone. And so I put them outside and I tried to repot them into a new pot, but they just didn't make it. They were too far gone. So I wanted to try again. And I got some cool ones. So I think I might just take a few seeds from each. Three seeds from you. Three seeds from you. And I cannot wait to start having like basil and all of these herbs. I should have been growing them indoors this whole time, but. Sometimes because I need to like learn a little more about like what spices and herbs go good with certain dishes. So what I usually do is if I'm curious, I just smell it and then I ask myself, hmm, do you think that would taste good in your dish? And then I just give it a go. And then I give it a go. I know you guys know that I have like a really bad memory, but for the past few months now, I've been needing to do my Q&A video and you guys have left me a, a lot of amazing questions. So I'm going to get that out there this week, okay? I'm gonna make it a, on my to-do list. So, with that being said, if you guys have any questions, any question, anything, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. All right? And I just heard parsley is healthy for girls, so eat your parsley girl. And some people are like, don't, aren't you supposed to like taste <laughs> as you cook? Uh, there's a lot I need to learn. Yeah, I wish I had like an egg or something. That would probably be good. A million other things would be good. So now I'm going to add my Gold maples. She wasn't scared of both. She said she let them both. It wasn't good enough for her. Don't make the, don't make the, don't make the. She wasn't scared of both. She said she let them both. Is it she was a scared of girl? He, she was a scared of, no, he was a scared of girl. She was a scared of girl. Oh, freaking me. It's been a while since I heard that song, okay? Please don't judge. I definitely used the wrong knife. See how pretty that is? I guess the universe doesn't want you to see. Ow! Ah! Okay, so here's my bowl. Do you like it? Mm -mm. Looks so good. My goodness, too funny. All right, so I think I'm gonna go eat outside and watch like a YouTube video or something. Okay, and then I might, cause I have like a few other things, like snippets that I wanna put in this baby vlog. So I'll probably upload that today. Cause why not, you know? I might do my makeup, but I might not. I've been kind of trying to let my skin breathe. Um, that's just like a scar, I guess. But it's mostly, like this side's fine, but I can't get rid of this little dry spot. And I worry, like, obviously, if I put makeup on it, that's not gonna help. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna make it go away. So, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna do what it does. I have been trying to use some aloe vera, but it seems like that works for like a second and then it like just dries up, disintegrates. So if you have any tips, tricks, anything, yeah, let me know. So, alright, see you in a little, or see you in another.